Today I'm teaching you how to make terrain inside of Roblox Studio. Now I made a video on this probably a couple of years ago now and I think it's due an update so let me show you exactly how to do it because lots has changed. So to access the terrain editor you press this button up here which says editor, you click it and it will appear here. Now there's two tabs, there's the edit and create and I'm going to show you the create tab first. We can go ahead and press generate and then a box here will appear and with this box we can resize it using these things here and move it around using the arrows here. Now with this we can resize it however we want. For example I want to fill this area here. I can then go to this area here and select certain things like I would like water and select a certain biome. So for example I want water and plains, uh, hills and dunes and yes I would like some caves because if you make it thick it creates caves underneath and then you press generate and it will generate voxels as you see here in real time which is quite useful and if we just uh, close off this as you see we now have our terrain generated in the robots and materials it's quite useful you know it starts at the bottom with lava and goes through rock and then uh, water and it does caves inside here um, as you see we have these indents and stuff inside and this terrain is generally quite nice actually I mean you can generate quite a bit it's improved since a couple of years ago a couple of years ago this was um, really awful but right now it's pretty good to use it's pretty nice it looks quite good that's what you want to do if you just want to generate it however it's quite limiting so let's press this clear button just get rid of all of this and to actually make your own you need to edit the edit tab now this is where lots of things happen now to create a large chunk of terrain the first thing to do is press select and again you can select a certain area I'm going to select this area here and then we can press fill and we can fill this let's say with grass and as you see we create some grass now and yeah here is our grass and we can then use the rest of these tools here to change that. So the draw tool here, this is adding things on. Now this is, for example, if you just start drawing, as you can see, our terrain grows. However, it's a bit inaccurate right now, and you kind of just go wherever you like, and it just draws. So what you should do is you can begin by using this thing here called the plane lock. Now the automatic plane lock, what this does is what I like to use, is as you can see, we get this grid here, and then the, the uh, terrain will lock to that grid. So let's say we want to draw here. As you see, we keep the same level, um, and it locks to that plane, that level. And if you get a diagonal one like this, it will only do that diagonal thing. So in theory, it just keeps your terrain nice and easier to control and stops you getting messy looking things. Um, you also have other shapes, so you can use the square here. And the square is quite useful, especially when I build up loads of land. Let's say I want to build up land here. I can build up like this, and then we'll smooth it out later. So yeah, we can do land with squares. Um, this is this one here. I've never really seen it. We probably use it. I think it was used to be used in jailbreak, um, maybe a couple of years back. And yeah, you get this sort of effect here. But I'm not really a fan of it, to be fair. But there it is. We also have these other things, snap to voxels, which um, just snaps it to a certain position, not needed at all. Ignore water, that can be useful, especially if you're working with like areas that look like sea. And then ignore parts, that's kind of useful, especially so if you have a part here, and I scale this up, this here, we can use ignore parts, and then it will just draw directly through the part rather than getting locked onto it. Now, Sculptor, this is what was previously known as the Grow Tool. We can change the base size of this and expand and decrease in size. And this is quite useful for smoothing things out. As you see here, it grows and expands. You can also subtract things, and that's if you want to bring it down nice and smooth. These are much, much better than using the Draw Tool to like remove and add because it's much, much uh, more natural, more realistic, and you create nicer looking terrain. Smooth. Now, smooth is the same as it was before, and if you didn't know that, I recommend turning off plane lock and then just you can hold it and it just smooths things out really nicely. It makes it flatter, I guess, technically, but in reality, it just allows you to get more realistic curves and edges nice and smooth. So, if you don't want a rock hard looking area, you just use this smooth tool here and that will smooth it all out just like this. Um, flatten here, again this is more of a flattening tool, you can do it anywhere with the plane lock like this and it will directly flatten out areas, so let's say you want to make a road, I want to make a road going straight through here, I can go here and I can just flatten this out directly like this and that will give me a perfect flat plane to place you know, my road across. Paint, obviously I want to use paint to make my road, select any of the pre-assigned materials and you can just select a base size or anything and you can just directly paint on top of these things now obviously these materials are changeable in the material manager here 
if I bring this over here, you can change all these materials. Uh, if you want to see video materials, I will link one right now. You can change all these materials, and that's quite useful. And finally, sea level. Now, sea level is really useful, especially if you're using a huge like amount of terrain. So let's say I'm using all of this, and I want to make a really low, really, really large amount of sea. It allows us to go past the usual limits, because usually with the uh, select tool, you get a limit. Whereas with sea level, you do not get that. And you can just press uh, creator, and it will generate a C. So obviously it looks a bit weird now, but yeah, there you go. We now have a large amount of C. Now obviously we can change this as well. We head to terrain and then go to properties. We can change things like the transparency of the water, the reflectance, and we can also change all the colors of the material. I like to make the grass a bit nicer, like that maybe, I don't know. But you can change loads of different things. And that is how you use terrain inside of Roblox Studio. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.